Dodo Peak is a tribute to classic arcade platformers with its simplistic controls of just four arrows to four sides. Yes, it is that simple and I guess you could say this is a successor of a Frogger for example where you had the exactly same controls and life spam on each level. But there are some differences of course. In this game you play a bit bigger animal, a dodo bear, and your goal is to find and rescue your lost babies from a series of dangerous peaks. This game is divided into 60 levels, each one is pretty short and can be completed in seconds. But the catch is in the gathering all the eggs in the level that turns into babies who then follow you back to the safety with tons of obstacles, enemies, falling rocks and many more unpleasant ways to die and try again. There are obstacles and enemy types that will change your strategic approach. Each enemy acts based on a different patterns and are presented over time in future levels and sometimes even combined. The difficulty of the game doesn't come in the fact that you must not be touched by the enemy, but the same goes for your hatched baby who follows you and the more you got, the longer your dodo snake is and more vulnerable to mistakes. Luckily, you got two power-ups that are spawns in some of the levels. Watermelon lets you go faster for a very short time and the radish item, just like the old classic Pac-Man, lets you be unbeatable and kill every enemy you touch for a few seconds. Optional side quest to every level is gathering coins and diamonds, which you can use both for buying one of the over 20 new skins that let you move faster as well. Or you can even use the coins to open another of the six worlds trying to skip some of the levels you got stuck in. Since you get one to three stars rating every level you complete, there's another challenge for you to go back to some and get more stars, for example, for beating the level below a certain time limit. And a certain number of stars let you also open new worlds, so you have several ways to progress, which is nice. Except the six dimension levels, you can also play endless mode, where you go from down to an infinite hill and on the way also get the eggs and coins, but there are some safe zones for your babies where you let them off and continue by yourself. So the snake of the babies behind your tail is not infinite, but the further you are, the harder it gets. Then you can also play weekly challenges, which is basically one super difficult level that everybody gets to compete in a leaderboard. This is all the game offers, so let's now go to should you dodo it? I mean, should you play this game? Should you bother? Yes, true, this game is free from Epic to keep if you claim it between August 17 to 24 of 2023, but not all free games are worth your time. That's why this channel exists to try to help you decide which one to play and which one to stay away from. I would like to divide this game into three parts. First one, you start slowly enjoying the easy levels and the game feels okay. Second part of the game, you will face a lot harder challenges. You will want to destroy the controller and might even hate the game from needing to restart a level more than 30 times. But if you pass that, you will be surprisingly rewarded with a complete twist to the gameplay, presenting you a crap enemies who does not move by themselves, but only when you move and they move in opposite direction. So suddenly the game turns from frenetic fast arcade to hard thinking puzzler, which I enjoyed definitely the most. And if the game consisted mostly of those slow levels, I would be definitely for the game. But since it's not, I think you know where this is going. It's okay game to try out, nothing deep, nothing you will really remember. And so no, I don't think you had to try out a forgettable game that makes you angry at some levels and you only get later levels as a reward for surviving the first two thirds. It's a pity, but that's what my opinion is. Well, you might have the other one and that's okay to have it. You will get a chance to try it out for yourself and tell me that I'm completely wrong, so feel free to. But I will be rather playing some other games we got even lately free, like for example Loot Hero, which I still can't get out of my head before I will beat that last third boss. I know, some games just look bad and they turn into gems, and some other like Dodo actually are looking good at first, but you won't take anything from them. Well, that's a life of a gamer and this channel. So join us on an adventure to explore more great free games in the future.